my name is Jonathan. I am your Viz trainer for this module. I am going to demonstrate to you how to take advantage of camera and lighting uh, as far as a tracked object on a geometry, as well as to use an action keyframe to hit a camera cut between your animations. Now, most people assume that the cameras in Viz are generally for uh, virtual sets, which is not at all untrue either. Uh, Viz has up to 16 different cameras you can choose from if you haven't played with them already. You can access them from here. As you see from here I can sort of play with the different values. I'll come back to those in a sec. Um, but like I said, most people do assume that they can be only for a virtual set, but you can actually do a lot with them. And a lot of it's going to happen here with this position tracking, tracking and direction tracking. <clears throat> so the exercise is to have a, ca a few sweeping camera moves around this VizRT7 logo, but then within those camera moves to use action keyframes to create camera edits or camera cuts or edits. And this will give you the feeling of, of editing a, a nice composition for motion graphics, but it'll all be happening in real-time 3D, which is kind of cool. So let's dive into that. I have a geometry already set up to go here. And it is this logo right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a dolly, or my first camera. I usually follow the rules of the real world where I'm assuming that the camera could be on a dolly or a track and then I even put in the assumption that maybe there's a jib so I actually add a jib container. The reason I'm adding these extra jib, these extra containers is I can actually control and animate these as well to create more of a compound movement. But my first object here, my first geometry is camera 01. Let's give that a bright color so we can identify it later and see it moving. And I want to make this quite a bit smaller as well so we can we don't really need that much. So what's actually happening is that I'm going to move oh yeah so I'll, I'll move this back like this and over like that. So that is our camera but now we need to have the camera looking at something and working with it. So this is where these things come in right here, the position tracking. So camera one is tracking there and what is it tracking? It is looking to this logo over here. So there we can see we now have the point of view of this purple camera one in camera one right there. So if I move this around, I'm actually moving around the camera creating a sweeping move. But I'm also doing some little bit of fun here because I've got this extra jib and I can even have a dolly going from let's say left to right. So I'm going to add my first few animations here as well. So I'm going to go, my dolly is sliding over across a set and here I'm going to have a little animation like that. So now I've got two animations lasting about a second, I'll have them about three seconds long. And I'll even move my animation, my camera, a little bit here as well. There we go. <clears throat> so let's see the resulting animation. It's pretty simple. Speed that up. So that is our first move right there, and I'm going to add some weights to the animations to get a bit of easing in and out. And this is the move right there, okay? So that's camera one. Now I'm going to go and add camera two. 
going to copy Dolly into another one. That would be another Dolly. Dolly. I'm going to take off this animation. I want to have something, something a little bit simpler. Here's camera two. <clears throat> and camera two will be a little bit of a blue color. Remove this. And set everything back. Once again, if we go to camera two, we drag this over here and then drag in seven. And I think that this camera move will be like a track. Actually, I've got a better idea. Watch this. So instead of tracking the object, I want to do a sweeping across move. And then call this track two. And it's just going to track like that right there. So now this will simply go left to right like that. And this move is like this. We're not. We're only in camera two right now, which is why we can't see the action. But that is the action for camera two, like there. Okay. And let's put a third camera movement in. Okay, same thing. This little animation would be more like a, s a spin around. Animation one, two, and I think that this camera could push in a little bit as well. And we can move the dog, Dolly, maybe a little twist. out for us. That's the move right there. Okay, I'm going to create a little bit of an overlap for these. Maybe I'll just go like this. Six second animation, that's it right there. So you see how we have these floating balls there. These balls are the camera tracks. We just turn them off by deactivating them from this point right here. And they're invisible. <clears throat> now the next thing is I need to find a way to have my cameras animate through and cut from each one. We have the ability to use action keyframes to make adjustments in the graphics and, and the uh, in the cameras. So as you see right here, I've got camera one, camera two, camera three. And what I'm going to do is reach in here and grab a example of what an action keyframe, sorry, a command line that will go into the action keyframe will look like. So I'll take that stage and 
we already see that this is the first one in here. I'm going to just make sure if we set that the first action keyframe is going to set it to camera one. I hit it execute. You'll see we're in camera one. If I put this to camera two, hit execute, we're in camera two. And if I put this to three, we are in camera three. So what's actually happening here is we're switching from one, two, and three. And when you use these commands, hit the cut. Now the reason there are two commands is first of all, the, the top one is for when we are in editor mode. Right now we're in editor mode. So I go this editor, where we are, set camera is a command, and then the value I would like for it to be set at, camera one. When I'm in renderer, which means when the graphic is on air, we do the same thing, but we use renderer and we hit execute. Copy paste this, because I'm going to use it again. And I'm going to set this to camera three, I think, because three is kind of cool. I hit execute, oh, there it is. Make that a bit tighter. And I'm go over here and add this and make this, set this to camera two. Back to camera one. Camera three. Go back to camera one. And that should be fine. So now when I play the graphic, there we go. We can make that a little bit faster. There we go. So like I said, this is how we will be using cameras to create nice edits using the camera to attach to a geometry. And the result is a nice sort of motion graphic using action keyframes to make your camera cuts. In the next module, I'm going to go over lighting. It's very similar with a few slight different changes.